it's your boy Noto coming to you with another video man and I'm gonna talk to y'all about why body game compensates for looks and height and I'm gonna talk to y'all while I'm chopping the watermelon you know if y'all like to chop watermelon videos whatever but man body game compensates for looks and height guys plain and simple that's the beauty of it that's why it's universal guys I keep telling you all that. Why you think we push it so hard? Because everybody can do it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can do the body game. Because I'm having people in my comments saying, oh my God, why, uh, he's only getting women because he's handsome. And I had a comment like that. I'm saying it's not because of the body game, but at the end of the day, the body game can compensate for that. If you, you feel like you're an unattractive dude, getting your body right can push you up, can push you in positions that just regular handsome people with regular mediocre bodies wouldn't be able to get into them. Trust me. It'll open doors for you. And I've, I've seen it from experience. I've seen it from experience. So I don't want to hear nothing about making excuses about, oh, I feel like I'm unattractive. I feel like I can't get one because the way I look and all this, all this and that. The body game transcends that. You feel me? Now I ain't gonna say, now nah, I'm not gonna just say like, oh, body game is gone, automatically push you with any other any woman, cause that would be a, a damn lie. But what I am saying is, it transcends a lot of that because the body game will make women do things that they, that they wouldn't wanna do, that they wouldn't wanna do. Exactly, the body game, the body game do that for you. Transcends all that. Mm. This is a sweet one right here, guys. We always sweet, but this one. Anyway. And then for the height thing, I've seen short dudes get right with the body game. I'm telling you, bro. Short, I didn't see short dudes like, bro. I kind of had a short, few heart, short homies, bro. Get right, get hella chicks off of using the body game, bro. They short, fit, like, you know what I'm saying? You got good builds, all that shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much good athletic bodies. Look like they live, look like they work out, all kind of shit, like they play sports. So, the height thing is not a requirement for the body game. I'm telling you, that is not a requirement. You do not have to be six foot tall. You know what I'm saying? Be women or whatever. To be successful with women, be whatever you think is going to help you in that area. You don't need it, guys. I'm just trying to tell you. Yeah. You don't need to be a damn basketball player getting on. <laughs> That's where the body game compensates for it. Body game compensates for all of it, guys. Tell me, I done seen a lot of short dudes just bagging chicks have no problem bagging chicks go like what's the problem like it's like it's like it's like people just come up with more excuses every day bro it's more and more excuses bro i'm too short i can't do this of course don't be short fat and ugly you know what i mean but in the day if you know that you're not all that in in the looks department in the face you know what i'm saying if you feel like you ain't all that if you get your body right you're putting yourself up there that makes you more attractive guys so like I don't know why you want to do something that makes you more attractive. You feel like you already behind in looks. So why not do something that makes you look better? <laughs> that makes sense, right? It makes you look better, guys. It makes you look better. One, because when you're dieting and stuff like that, too, for the body game for the for the dudes on the heavier side with the fat faces and stuff like that. You never know what your cheek bone structure actually look like. You might look, you, you, you know what I'm saying? You might end up being able to show your cheek bones when you start getting leaner and you start building muscle. Your frame is huge. So you never know what you probably look like. You thinking you just ugly dude or something like that because you're higher in body fat. But the body game is gonna help you lean out that face too. You know what I'm saying? So you, that's not your real face right now. 
probably gonna help bring it out through dieting and all that other stuff. But if you feel like you're just a butt ugly dude, and I've seen those types of dudes get hella women because of the body game. That's why I said the looks. Body game compensates for looks and height. Mm. I just came from the gym, I'm hungry, I ain't gonna tap. I'm chopping it. But I'm telling you guys, looks, bro. Like, it's hella subjective anyway. But the thing is, body game is the reason it transcends looks in a way. Because the body game is a part of your look, of course. But I'm talking about like people, the, the guys that be like, oh, it's, a, it's the face and all this and shit. It transcends that because it hits the women on the in, in a primal way. You hear what I'm saying? So it's something like, okay, at the end of the day, if a dude has a, a handsome face, but a mediocre body, it's not gonna hit the same as a dude with a average face or an ugly face, but with a but with the with the uh with the uh tight body. Real shit. She gonna feel a, a different sort sort of way. Almost like this. Now you see a pretty chick, right? Pretty chick, but she real skinny. We nothing on her. But she like she's banging in the face. She about like a 10 in the face. But the body is mediocre. The body is like a five. You know what I'm saying? Just, just really mediocre. No, no breasts, no, no hips, no none of that. But take a girl that's like a shoot. Take a girl that's hella strapped. But about a five or six in the face. Y'all, y'all, y'all ready to yam and shit? You know what I'm saying? Now I know a couple dudes, a lot of dudes gonna be like, "Oh, I'd rather take the girl with a skinny face." But think about it, bro. Think about how it hits you when you see a chick that's hella strapped, though. They stand side by side. This girl is real pretty, but she's skinny. Don't really have much of a body. Mediocre body. She don't have to be skinny. She could be like a a, a plus size chick too, but with a mediocre body. Two. It's mediocre a body, uh, plus size chick too, of course. But I'm just saying, like, if they stood side by side, you know which one gonna hit you the most. You know that thick chick gon' that thick toned chick. That's real thick, like, I'm talking about strap. Looking good, like, you know what I'm talking about, like Instagram model good. Instagram model thick. Come on now, you know that's gonna hit. Y'all know y'all like that shit, man. You know you like that shit, and you know that you think they don't like that shit? Come on, man. It don't, like, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying looks do not matter. No, no guys do not get that mixed up. I'm not saying looks don't matter. What I'm saying is, it ain't the end of we all. And what I'm saying is, the body game compensates for that. Take my word for it. As a guy that comes from both sides of being handsome and other. So I can speak from both sides. In high school, I was considered an ugly dude. That's how I was treated. I was treated like an ugly dude. All kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, like real fat. Like I ain't had a, none of that. None of the stuff I got going on now, none of that. Going on. So I've been on both ends of the spectrum. And I'm short. I'm 5'9 five, five, now. I was like 5'8, five, 5'7 five, then. That's what I'm saying, man. Just like they say, people that have advantages like being handsome and stuff like that, and and being tall, but at the same time, like they, you know how they say that a dude can be tall and he can be ugly, but he can be tall at the same time. He, he can be tall, but he can be ugly. You know what I'm saying? He can be ugly if he's tall. You know what I'm saying? And and he, that compensates for him. At the end of the day, take take a take a guy that's shorter than him. They got a tight body. They got I'm talking about they got a tight body. That's the same. I'm talking about they both got the same face. But one has a tight body and one just has a, a, a mediocre body, but he's just tall. One dude is five seven and the other dude is like six three. You know what I'm saying? Standing side by side, one just have a mediocre body, but he's just tall. And one had the, and one have uh and one had the tight body. Which one do you think is just more like it's gonna stand out more? 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Which one is gonna like appeal to her a little more? You know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? That's why I say it compensates for that, guys. That's that's your weapon. Because at the end of the day, when you're working out your body, you you already taking yourself out of the higher percentage of people of men that don't take care of that body, that don't that don't work out, that don't have the body game going for them. So by you even starting on the journey, you already putting yourself in a higher percentage of men anyway. So when you start making your gains, the high, the, the more gains you make, and the closer you get to the goal, the higher the percentage of men and uh low and, and the percentage of men that you join, it's a low percentage of men overall. Being a high top percentage of men that's, that's in shape, you know what I'm saying? Most of the most of the US is obese, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. Like, it's it's like you guys gotta understand that, right? like, it, it's a vice. That's why that's why I say the body game is a cheat code because the cheat code is it compensates for looks, you don't have to have. Uh, the hell of a looks just just the uh you know what I'm saying the body gonna come compensate for that you feel like you just wasn't blessed with looks in, in the face and you, you know who you are you know who you are because at one point I felt that was me too but I mean I had some type of glow up so it is what it is I mean so I'm, I'm not in that category no more only because it's been proven outside of me it's been proven by females interactions to me I'm not just going off and just saying oh I look good I, I'm going off of how other people view me so that's how you look at it. Look at how other people treat other people as opposed to treating how they treat you. And that's how I knew that I was ugly in high school. And the same things I tried to do that those quote unquote pretty boys should do. I got looked at as a weirdo for that. You know what I'm saying? But when I was working out in when I was working out in high school, because you remember I told y'all in the last video on my body game, my experiences, go check that out, guys. It's another video. Go check that out. It's on my channel. But when I said that I was in ROTC, I was doing a lot of push-ups, and you know what I'm saying? My, that's when my chest development started getting right. You know what I mean? I thought I was doing a lot of PT, working out, like, but, in, you know, I was building the body game inadvertently. You know what I'm saying? It's really supposed to be like punishment and pretty much training. That's kind of like the get in shape a little bit, but that wasn't the main focus, but it really helped me without me knowing. I'm thinking I'm just getting punished and just getting in trouble. It's really helping me out. And I, I thank God for it. I thank the most high for that. Because uh, that put me in a great position. So now, then, even when even when then I considered that, when, when I started getting those development, when I started, when my muscles started popping out, like I was getting attention from chicks that I never got attention from. You know what I'm saying? Like never. Like I'm talking, I'm getting like little, you know, sideline compliments saying that, oh man, you know what I'm saying you slimming down, ain't you? So you getting buff, ain't you? You know what I'm saying? They, they come start tapping your chest, start coming, you know what I'm saying? Tapping your arms, and you know that how the other dudes, the dudes, the dudes gonna start, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they gonna start, you know what I'm saying? They gonna start the hating. I said with the body game, that's one of the dark sides because they do start hating. They be like, man, he ain't all that. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know, they, you know, they want to challenge you, but like, oh, he ain't that strong. Uh, but he can't fight. You know what I'm saying? They try to say all kinds of shit. But at the end of the day, you know how it is when the, the dudes that play sports, like the athletes, come starting to start to say something like, oh, you starting to get up there. You know what I'm saying? When you start seeing them come towards you and be like, on some stuff, on some shit like that. That's how you know, like, okay, damn, yeah. That's the, the the first thing, the first indications you're gonna get that you're making changes to your body, to your body composition, is people outside of you, bro. They gonna let you know whether your ass is gaining weight or whether your ass is getting buffed when you stand on your stand on your grind. Trust me, they gonna be the first ones to let you know. Even people that don't even know about fitness, nothing. They can tell if your ass is gaining weight. Or nothing, cause you go away from them for a while, and they come back and they saying something that's something different about you. That's how you know you making progress or you decline. Like, oh, you done gained some weight. Hey, don't that make you feel bad? You ain't seen, seen somebody in a long time. They be like, damn, like you done gained some weight. But to get back on topic, guys, it does compensate for looks and height, guys. 
It's just plain and simple. It's plain and simple, bro. At the end of the day, like I said, you stand handsome, handsome man, in the face, mediocre body next to a ugly, sexy player, as Ron Wills called it, cousin T Talk called it. Stand them side by side, right? What's going to stand out to the woman more? With the, with, with the, well, the uh, average guy, average looking guy with the tight body, and the handsome face guy with the with the uh, mediocre body. You stand them dudes side by side. And who do you think the woman's going to be more drawn to? What do you think is going to hit her on a primal level? What, what do you think is going to touch her more? What do you think is going to speak to her more? What's going to speak to you more? Remember, I told you the, the chicks, right? See, see, a 10 in the face chick with a mediocre body. Or you got like a, a 5 or 6 in the face chick, but with a, with a 10 body, banging body. Which one will you be drawn to? So you think you like that shit. You think they don't like this shit? Come on, man. Come on, guys. So, stop complaining about the height. Stop complaining about how you look. The body game is still undefeated. It's undisputed. There's no excuse at all. It's no excuse. <clears throat> it's no excuse, guys. Because you're short. You be short. I knew a dude in the band. Play with him. My dog, my dog Carl. He was short. He was short by like he about like four something. Like I think he about about five even or something like that. But he was getting chicks because his body was tight. I'm telling you guys, that shit don't matter, bro. You can be a short motherfucker, but just don't be short, fat, and all that shit. Like if you short and you feel like you're unattractive and stuff like that, get the these get the body right. You know what I'm saying? That's why the body game is universal, guys. So it's your boy Noto coming to you with more videos, coming to you with more content. And I'm proud, proud to say that I'm, I'm approaching 100 subscribers. I know it's not that much. I'm still a, a new channel, you know what I'm saying, coming. And I appreciate the support that I do get. I, I, I appreciate all y'all engaging with me. I appreciate all the feedback. Y'all keep it coming. Hey, just when y'all get in the comments, hey, just um, if y'all got some topics y'all want me to talk about, Due to this space, because at the end of the day, this channel is going to be about different things, too. It's not just going to be just about the body game. But I just want to touch on the body game, you know, double down on it. Because I've pretty much been living it for the whole, you know what I'm saying, my whole life. And not really been knowing it. And I've been, like, when I was watching Rom's videos, it would hit me and be like, damn. This is the, pretty much the shit that I was doing. So, it's not like I'm just trying to take over the space or nothing like that. I just want to share my experiences with it. And then, like, you know, I'm just going to do this. But the channel is most likely going to be more centered towards self-improvement and making yourself a better person and things that will help you to advance in life internally and externally, guys. I appreciate the subscribers. It's your boy Noto coming to you with more content. Coming to you with more video. Oh, shit. Coming to you with more video. See y'all, boys. Bye.